this video we want to review how to find the domain and range uh, from a graph. So we're going to look at uh, two examples here of some functions that we can uh, graph. Uh, some of them graph pretty easily by hand, others we may need to use a little bit of technology to help us with. Our first example here is x squared plus 4. Remember that that is a parabola. It's opening upwards. The plus 4 there causes it to shift upwards. So I can go ahead and draw my graph. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. So there's my graph. Y equals x squared plus 4. And you can see that it's been shifted up 4 units and has a U-shaped graph. Now remember the domain is talking about our x values. So as we look at the graph here, we can see that we're really taking on uh, every possible x value. So in both directions, because that graph is going to continue both to the left and to the right. And so here we're taking on every possible x value, so our domain will be all real numbers. And as we look at the y values, though, we see we don't take on every y value. In fact, uh, it's just everything from 4 upwards. Everything from 4 upwards. So its y values have to be greater than 4. Now typically we're asked uh, in these problems to state the domain and range, usually in interval notation. So when we state the domain of f, uh, one way of course is we could say all row numbers. There's also an abbreviation for that, which is a script R, like that. Uh, in interval notation, though, it's the interval that starts down at negative infinity and ends at positive infinity. Very important in interval notations to indicate that uh, the value is not part of the interval, since negative infinity and infinity are not uh, real numbers, they're ideas. Uh, we have to use uh, parentheses to indicate that it's been excluded. Now when it comes to the question of the range, we have to be greater than 4. So in interval notation, we would write that as the interval including 4, because uh, 0, 4 was a point on the graph. So we use a bracket to include it, and then continuing up to uh, infinity. Let's consider this uh, second function here. Uh, this is a rational function. y equals 1 over x squared minus 2x minus 8. Uh, and again, we want to take a look at the graph. So we'll go ahead here and plug in the graph. And we see that we have two asymptotes, uh, one occurring here uh, on our graph at negative 2. Right here at negative 2, we have an asymptote. Uh, and then we have a second vertical asymptote over here at negative 4. Those are the values that actually make that denominator 0. If you were to factor that denominator, it would be uh, x plus 2 and x minus 4. So those, uh, as we look at the domain here, those values are going to be excluded. So I we'll have an open circle there at negative 2 graph will continue to positive 4, or we'll have another open circle, and then it'll continue onward the rest of the way. So domain here, we're losing those two values at negative 2 and at 4. Range-wise, it takes on everything up to 0, but not including 0. You know, if you were to zoom in on this graph, the graph approaches 0, but never actually reaches it, uh, and then continues upward. So putting this together now, we can say that our domain is the interval from negative infinity to negative 2, union symbol, negative 2 to 4, union symbol, 4 to infinity. Okay. That's the interval notation way of writing it. And if you're forced to do an interval notation, that's what you have to do. Although that's really painful, so if we're allowed to... If we're given the option, and I don't mind at all, but a computer assignment might, uh, we can just say, hey, x can't be negative 2 or 4. 
that's a whole lot simpler than writing out the interval notation. And that's kind of a convention most people take when a couple values are excluded. Range-wise, we could write it as the interval from negative infinity to zero. Union zero to infinity, that's the interval notation way of doing it. Or we can say, hey, quite simply, y can't be zero. y cannot be zero. Uh, if we're allowed to get away with that.